hi you guys welcome back to my channel okay today we are going to be baking some brownies supreme triple chunk brownie mix by betty crocker delights yes you guys supreme triple chunk so it's gonna be triple chunky brownie mix yes as you can see i got my two pans right here it's greased really good it got the oil in there i got my two eggs right here yes yeah, just like it says on the box oh one egg i forgot i'm doing snickerdoodles also but i'm not including that in this video all right so y'all yeah, got the one egg i got the one third vegetable oil and i have the one fourth cup of water so right here I have my one fourth cup of water, and right here I have my one third cup of oil. Yes, you guys. So, all right, let's get started, you guys. I'm gonna do my dry ingredients separately. I'm gonna do my wet ingredients separately, and then I'm going to add everything together. All right, you guys. I'm gonna put the one fourth water in the bowl. Yes, and then I'm going to put the one third of vegetable oil. Crisco vegetable oil, pure vegetable oil, by the way. Water and oil zone mix, baby. But guess what? I'm going to get it to mix today. I'm going to get it to mix today. Look how shiny and pretty it looks. Yes, you guys. Yes. So, all right. Look at that, y'all. They say water and oil don't mix. No, we don't. <laughs> all right, you guys. So, now I got to put the one egg in there. Because, like I said, I like to do my wet and dry ingredients separately. Oh, help me. Y'all, how am I going to crack an egg with one hand? Let's see how this goes. We crack an egg with one hand. All right, you guys. It is recommended to mix your wet ingredients by itself and your dry ingredients by itself. One of the reasons because is if you crack an egg in the dry ingredients, you most likely won't know. But if you crack an egg in the wet ingredients, then you can dig it on out, which will be great for everybody, including the people that's going to be eating the brownies. All right, you guys, let's move on to the next. So now what we have to do, now that we crack the one egg, we got the water, we got the oil in there. Now we got to stir it up really good. And then we got to place our brownie mix inside of the bowl. And then I'm going to show you guys the rest of it. All right, you guys, I'm going to stir it up, stir it up. Not too much, not too less. All right, now that I got it stirred up, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to like, you know, just stir up. The little brownie mix a little bit. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. So it won't be no clumps and humps. All right, you guys, now I'm about to add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. As you can see right here, come on now, wet ingredients. Come on, get in there, get in on that. All right, I'm going to stir it up really good. And I'm going to show you guys how it's looking. And then I'm going to show you guys how it turned out. See you in the next clip. You guys we are back in the next clip as you can see right here the brownie mix turned out so lovely and so nice you guys it is so perfect look at that look at that look at that look at that who do brownies better than me y'all i know how to do them from scratch too by the way this just like a little lazy night but i do know how to do them from scratch and you guys also you got to preheat your oven to 350 of course 350 is baking time for like if you're baking like cookies or brownies or whatever also you guys be sure to check out my other video because i'm going to do a snicker duty snicker duty i'm going to do a snicker doodle video mm -hmm. yeah. it turned out really lovely really amazing you guys yeah i'm gonna pour it off in there and then i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you 10 seconds of it and then i'll be back in the next clip but you guys i almost forgot to show you all right so this is pretty much how it's looking while it's in the oven i just put it in there so yeah yes i can't wait till it's done the brownies they look so amazing so nice so good yes yes you guys remember to always sing over your food you guys you gotta bless your food and you gotta put love all on it yes brownies 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 all right you guys we are back we are back we are back <laughs> all right you guys so for the first time ever i ended up like burning the sides of the brownies um i don't understand like i bake brownies a lot so i'm get okay so i know 100 percent why it ended up like frying on the side simply because i use too much pure vegetable oil around the sides really you were supposed to just spray the pans with like pan but i noticed when i was spraying it 
I didn't really have no Pam right now. So I had to use oil, pure vegetable oil. And I pulled way too much, as you saw in the other clip. And when you pour too much, it basically fry the sides. So don't don't be like me. Do not fry the sides. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to Kanaya's Kitchen. Y'all check out my other brownie videos, you guys. My other brownie videos, um, those brownies turned out lovely. Turned out good. Um, this is like my 100th time making brownies and my first time burning them. <laughs> all right you guys uh be sure to like this video comment on this video subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications you guys thank you guys so very much for watching my video to the very last end like comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified each and every time i post hello you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to Cornelia's kitchen all right, you guys, so today we are going to be baking some snickerdoodles. You guys, I've been struggling on how to say snickerdoodles. Okay, so we're going to be doing snickerdoodles cookie mix, you guys, by Betty Crocker. Ready in three easy steps, you guys. Now contains milk ingredients. Ooh, new look, same great taste. All right, you guys, dude, this is going to be my first time making snickerdoodles. Next time I make it, it's going to be from scratch, and I'm going to record it for Kanai's Kitchen. Anyways, you guys, the snickerdoodles, it requires one stick of butter, margarine, or spread. Soft and not melted, you guys. Do not melt your butter. Y'all, I don't know how to say butter easy. I don't know how to say butter either. Oh, my God. Do not melt your butter just soften it you guys you see how this is softening right here this is one stick of butter and it is soften you guys all right so you just need one stick not melted but soften you guys let me tell you my husband melted some butter one time and a brownies turned out so different like it was still good but it just didn't taste the way it usually tastes when i did brownies one time all right you guys so one egg as you can see right here i have my one egg you guys all right so as you can see i got my one stick of butter in here waiting for the egg all right, I cracked the egg, put it in there. You guys, it's best to do your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients separately, you guys. Always, always, always. I have to tell myself this, and I have to remind myself this. All right, you guys, so I always have to remind myself to always do my dry ingredients separately and my wet ingredients separately for several reasons. One reason include that if you mix your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients, you might get a few pieces of egg pieces in there and you don't want that. Now, if you get a few pieces of egg pieces in the wet ingredients by itself, then you can just take your finger and just dig it out. But if you mix your wet and your dry ingredients together right away, like if you put your, your snickerdoodles in there and then add the egg and then add the butter, then it's going to be real hard to get the little egg pieces out of there. But if you do it like this, then say for instance, if I drop a piece, I can just go on and dig it out. I don't have to worry about the snickerdoodle blocking it or whatever. You guys, I'm going to refrain from saying snickerdoodle because I don't know how to say it. Anyway, so now I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to mix up the butter. Uh, oh, this looks so cute, you guys. This looks so nice, so lovely. So as you can see, I'm mixing up the butter and the egg. It looks so amazing. The butter and the egg is mixed up. I don't see no egg pieces. That's amazing. Because if I do see it, then guess what? I can most definitely take my finger and dig it out. All right, you guys. Now that I have mixed up the egg with the butter, now I can't. Oh, and don't forget to preheat your oven to 350. You can either preheat it to 350 or 375. I recommend 350. Although on here it says, it says if you are doing it in an aluminum pan, you can do 375. For 11 to 13 minutes or you can do 350 degrees for a non-stick pan so this is a non-stick pan that has um oil on the bottom of it. it has pure vegetable oil on the bottom by crisco so because it has the pure oil pure vegetable oil on the bottom by crisco it's what you call a non-stick pan and it's of course it's it's not really aluminum right nope it's not so we're gonna do it for 350 degrees for 14 through 16 minutes that's what we're gonna do all right so as you can see right here it says one tablespoon water and one egg so we're just gonna do one tablespoon water and then we're gonna mix it real good right here it says number one heat oven as directed below empty pouch of cookie mix into a medium bowl remove cinnamon sugar packet empty into a small bowl stir cookie mix soften butter water and egg until dough forms 
Roll dough until balls. Drop into cinnamon sugar roll until coated. Drop dough two and a half inches apart on ungreased cookie sheet. And number three, bake. Bake as directed below or until edges are set. Cool two minutes before removing from cookie sheet. All right, you guys, let me go get my, how much water? One tablespoon of water, okay. All right, so right here, as you can see, my one tablespoon. I did one tablespoon of water, as you can see. All right, you guys. All right. All right. So heat oven as directed below. Empty pouch of cookie mix into a medium bowl. Remove cinnamon sugar bag. Empty into a small bowl. All right. All right, you guys. For number two, it says stir cookie mix, soften butter, water, and egg until dough forms. Roll dough into balls. So you're gonna put it in here and you're gonna stir it up real good until the dough starts to form. And then you're gonna, yeah, baby. And then you're gonna roll it into little balls. I thought I opened it up all the way. Let me see. Get my ring. <laughs> all right you guys we are back in the next clips so as you can see right here just like i read it to y'all i read it to y'all three times so heat oven as directed below empty pouch of cookie into a medium bowl remove cinnamon sugar packet empty into a small bowl mm -hmm. so i gotta empty the cinnamon small bowl i ain't wasting no more bowls Why but, but okay the, the what's the name the blender the blender i mean the Babe, if i would have used the blender babe it would have took that that's just too much i'm gonna have to plug it up and stuff it's better than what you're doing now. Whatever. You're using the utensils that you use for the blender. This. Yeah, I know. I know. When 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 we got... I know, because we got several blenders. And I'm always baking, but I'm never using the blender. You got a whiskey. That don't make sense, huh? That's how you whiskey. I'm always baking, and I don't never use the blender. You right. I'm going to start using the blender starting tomorrow. Anyways, but I, I don't really like bake that much. But when I do, I do need to use the blender. All right, so drop into cinnamon sugar rolls until coated. Drop dough. Um, two and a half inches apart on ungreased cookie sheet. Bake as directed below or until edges are set. Cool two minutes before removing from cookie sheet. All right, you guys. Just like I told y'all, I'm gonna have to stir this until it forms into like a cookie dough, and then I'm gonna have to take it with my hand. I just washed my hands again, by the way. I always wash my hands over and over again. I'm thinking about doing a little taste test right now, but no, nah, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Yeah, so for something like this, you would have to do like a little baking sheet. But look, I'm doing this and I'm doing that one over there because. That food over there, yep. So. All right, you guys. So I'm trying to get all of this from out of here. Like I say, I wash my hands again uh, extra time because, you know, I, I just have to wash my hands. All right, so we're going to make these into little balls, little snickle doodles. I'm going to do them kind of, kind of small or whatever so yeah stir cookie mix um i was supposed to put like a little flour on my hand so it won't stick to my hand but that's okay or either some of that pam i don't have any more pam remember if you have pam put it on your hands before you get ready to do this so it won't stick to your hands or you can put flour on your hands you know so all right so you're gonna roll it into small little balls <laughs> so after i roll into small little balls i'm gonna put it in some else. Yes, baby. Egg. That's an egg. Uh-huh. Baby, egg. Yes, baby. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Egg. Mm -hmm. So, egg. yes, baby. Good job. So, I'm going to roll it up to small egg. balls. And I'm going to do this really quickly. So, as I roll them to small balls, I'm going to have to drop it into the cinnamon. Sugar roll it into coat it. Child, I'm just gonna take that that doggone cinnamon and just sprinkle it on there. But you can do it how you want to do it, you guys. But it says drop it. You're gonna drop these little cookies, these little uncooked cookies. Ouch. You're gonna drop it into the sugar, into the cinnamon sugar. You're gonna put the sugar, you're gonna put the cinnamon right here. You're gonna put this cinnamon in a bowl by itself. Spread it all over. Drop the cookies in there and just and just roll it. But me personally, I'm just gonna take it and just Put a little on there. Live it by little bit. All right, you guys. I'll see y'all in the next clip. All right, you guys. We are back in the next clip. As you can see, um, I end up putting the cinnamon on there, of course. And I also, yeah, I put the cinnamon on the top and the bottom. But you guys, by me not putting it in like a flat pan, the cookies end up merging together, as you can see. They merged together, and with this one, it kind of like burnt around the sides because you know I was in the living room talking. 
but yeah you guys um thank y'all so very much for watching my video to the very last and like comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified each and every time i post yes y'all i know this one is burnt yes i put too much oil in it that's the issue um i had put too much oil around the sides and then i did the so when you do it just put pam on the bottom i ran out of pam but make sure you put Pam on the bottom. If you do do pure vegetable oil, make sure that you, instead of you put a lot of vegetable oil like I did, don't put a lot of vegetable oil. And put just small little pieces of cookies like this big. Because I did them like this big. And that's why they end up merging together. But yeah. That's the case. I could have just like, if it was going to do like this, that's the case. I should have just did one pan. Oh, um, okay. I, I would say it's, a, it's an epic failure because the cookies end up merging together. But no, to me, it's, it's not an epic fail because I know it's going to taste good. All right, you guys. Thank y'all so very much. Goodbye for now.